From a private jet worth $10 million to a car collection worth a little under 20, it is safe to say that four-time kickboxing world champ turned internet's biggest sensation Andrew Tate breathes in riches. After working his way from the bottom all the way to the top, Andrew has earned his spot in the multi-millionaire club or trillionaire club if we are to take his word for it. In today's video, we will look at the luxurious lifestyle of Andrew Tate and the insane things he spends his money on. If I were you, I would stick around because while we all know a good number of filthy rich people, not many men have mastered the art of spending money the way Andrew Tate does. Let's get into it, shall we? While the top G, as Andrew fondly calls himself, has earned massive popularity for living the American dream, he actually came from humble beginnings. Born in December of 1986, Emery Tate III lived out his first few years of life in Washington, D.C. along with his father, Emery Tate II, his mother, and his siblings Tristan and Janine Tate. Andrew's father, Emery Tate II, was an army vet, a former wrestler, and a skilled chess player, so skilled that he won the U.S. Military Chess Championship three times. Growing up, Andrew admired his father, so it doesn't come as much of a surprise that he grew up with a pretty innate attitude for combat and considered himself a tactician, which makes sense because he was already playing chess against experienced players at the age of six. I wonder what I was doing at that age. After hitting a rough patch following the end of his military service, Emery Tate II had to take on several minimum wage jobs to feed his family. However, things eventually got so bad that he could no longer pay the bills, so Andrew's mother decided to take him and his siblings back to England when he turned 10. In England, things were not much easier for the Tate family, so Andrew, who was still a child at the time, took up a job moving 80-pound boxes of frozen fish into nearby markets at 5 a.m. to help out his family. If I had to go through half of what Andrew did, I would probably spend money in a more preposterous way than he does, but we'll get to that soon. Luckily for young Andrew, things began to pick up when he began his professional kickboxing career and won his first championship title in 2009 after beating Paul Randall. To prove that he was not just a one-hit wonder, Tate went on to win three further championship titles in addition to a host of other impressive athletic achievements. Surprisingly, the talented fighter revealed that kickboxing is not the main source of his fortune. According to him, the most he got out of a fight was a paltry $100,000. I will take this as my cue to kick kickboxing off my list of potential money-making ventures. Anyway, back to Tate. Since the money didn't come from kickboxing, where did he get it? I'm glad you asked. During the stretch of his now not-so-humble beginnings, Tate had the idea to start a casino in Romania. Using his expert strategies and kickboxing connections, he was able to start raking in the money, which hasn't stopped coming in after much expansion. So maybe I shouldn't take kickboxing off the list after all. In 2010, Andrew started a webcam enterprise with his brother and five of their female friends. Together, the small team grew the enterprise to the point that it began making about $600,000 monthly. That's some finely dressed management skill, or in this case, undressed. Currently, though Andrew has little involvement in the business, he is said to still take about 20 to 30% of the women's webcam income. Deciding it was time to move on to greater things, Andrew chose to diversify his income even further, and one of these ventures is an online school called The Hustlers University, a global network with members, bases, and influence in more than 70 countries that teaches people how to make money using stock and crypto analysis, option plays, and DeFi projects. The Tate brothers and other tutors who have joined the Hustlers University program reportedly split $4 million in monthly profits. Andrew himself has added that the Hustlers University, with a market value of over $300 million, has grown to be his primary source of income. Aside from the already mentioned ventures, Tate makes a significant amount of his wealth from his online presence as a content creator on platforms like YouTube and Instagram. He also owns a podcast that rakes in millions of views. Tate's YouTube channel, Tate Speech, which he started in 2018, thrives on controversies, and since Andrew lives and breathes controversy, it is easy to see how his YouTube earns him roughly $80,000 per month. Thanks to his hard work and penchant for controversy, Andrew has amassed a net worth of about $250 million. Recently, the 35-year-old declared himself a trillionaire, but there's no evidence to back these claims. All this talk about money brings us to the part you've all been waiting for. 
just how does he spend his money? Currently, Andrew lives in Bucharest, Romania in a house that is priced at 20 million. The home features a swimming pool area, a gym, Andrew's James Bond style walk-in wardrobe, a lavish garage, and several other impressive amenities to match the price tag. If there is one thing all billionaires have to get used to is that traveling is inevitable. Tate knows this too, and he spared no expense in making sure that when he does travel, he does it in style using the most expensive vehicles money can buy. The first item on the list of Andrew's luxurious modes of transport is his beloved private jet, a single pilot certified light business aircraft which can carry up to 11 passengers. This beauty that left a $10 million dent in Andrew's finances has a sleek, customized cabin interior that is perfect for business or pleasure. To ensure that this luxurious transportation is not limited to the skies, Tate also owns an impressive fleet of 16 luxury cars and counting. So let's take a look at some of these bad boys. Kicking off the list of Tate's high-end cars is a Lamborghini Huracan EVO Spider, which cost him somewhere around $280,000. With its highest speed of over 350 kilometers an hour and a 0 to 60 acceleration in 2.9 seconds, it is safe to say that with this beauty, Tate will never be late to any meetings. The second car on this list and in Tate's garage is the Aston Martin DBS Super Ligera. With a cool starting price of $318,000, the Aston DBS has an elegant interior and brutally quick acceleration, among other outstanding features. And given the top G's obsession with James Bond, it is little wonder why Andrew didn't think twice before handing his credit card to the sales rep when he purchased this bad boy. The Ferrari 812 Superfast is yet another luxury car in Tate's collection, and seeing how it is the most powerful as well as the fastest road legal Ferrari ever made, with a maximum speed of 340 kilometers an hour and an acceleration of 0 to 100 kilometers in 2.9 seconds, I can understand why Tate paid over $380,000 for it. They say no car collection is ever complete without a Rolls Royce, so it makes sense that Tate owns a Rolls Royce Wraith worth around $343,000. Like many other Rolls Royce cars, the Wraith is the definition of luxury, while also boasting the ability to go from 0 to 60 kilometers an hour in 4.4 seconds and an ultra-luxurious, customizable interior. With that price tag, the Wraith is definitely one of the more expensive cars in Andrew's garage. But the title of Tate's most expensive car goes to his Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport with a price tag of $4 million. Being one of only 60 that were ever made, this bad boy is definitely the crown jewel of Tate's garage. To match his Bugatti, Andrew purchased a W16 watch for $450,000. Still on the topic of watches, you should know that Andrew is in the habit of ordering customized watches from Jacob Arabo and diamond-fitted watches from Cagua Jewelry. And you don't have to take our word for it. There is proof of Tate's million-dollar jewelry collection splattered all over his Instagram account, which, by the way, could pass for a luxury resort's advertising agency and a catalog for expensive accessories diamond-fitted jewelry. This all goes to show that Andrew Tate is living a life so luxurious that it is hard to remember the humble beginnings from which he came from. If anyone deserves to live such a life of luxury, it is Andrew Tate, because it is no secret that he has worked hard for every penny he has. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to click on the bell icon and subscribe to Build Empire to stay up to date with our industry-leading luxury videos. We will also be doing a massive giveaway in the following weeks to come. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. Until next time, future billionaires.